Hey, I'm Sarah for G Living. And I'm Boise. And uh, you know who I got to meet at the 11th hour premiere? Who? Cory Anka Kilcher. You know, as an ethnically ambiguous global citizen, I was happy to connect with her. She is uh, half Swiss, half Peruvian, born in Germany. The difference is she's only 17. Yeah, and she's been acting since she was five years old. And what she's doing now is she's suing the country of Peru for dumping oil into the ocean. So good on you, Cory Anka. We're now going to take you back in time to the 11th hour after party, and we got a chance to sit down and talk to the young actress and activist. All right, we're at Cisco Home as the 11th hour after party rolls on. We're with Corianka Kilcher from The New World. You were like, what, like 14 when you did that movie? Yes, I was. What was that like for you? I know you've been acting for a long time, but that was your first big film. It was very amazing because I worked with a legendary director and an amazing cast, and I learned, I learned so much, so it was an amazing experience. And I know, uh, how old are you now? I'm 17. And here you are, the 17-year-old starlet actress, and you've got these film credits, right? And you're building your resume, and you get to lend your likeness, your name, and come out to causes for making a difference for the planet. What's that like for you to be able to have a voice at such a young age? Well, I find it, I, I, I feel very lucky because, I mean, I love the saying with uh, great power comes great responsibility because being a celebrity, you have great power. You have a voice and a lot of people want to know what you're doing and um, media is interested in what you're doing. So I love the power of celebrity because you can give voice to the voiceless and um, yeah. So what's your, what's your voiceless passion? What's the thing you're most like lit up about making the difference? Well, right now, because I am half Peruvian, um, I am working uh, fighting against oil companies in Peru, like Occidental Petroleum right now, we're having uh, a lawsuit going against them because they've been dumping 800,000 barrels of toxic waste containing lead, cadmium, and other heavy metals in one day on one block alone that I visited. Um, and it's just, it's, it's, it's devastating the Amazon rainforest as well as the people, and um, so, that, that, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm, I, I'm, I'm doing that. And then also I'm working on something with the United Nations right now. We really are trying to get a whole bunch of celebrities together to, to, to help along the Declaration of the Rights of Indigenous Peoples to be passed by the awesome. General Assembly at the United Nations. Oh, so. That's so great. Yeah. You're, you're like, you, what do you do with your free time? Do you have any? I drive a hydrogen fuel cell car. <laughs> and um, I don't know. I love, I, I love camping. I, 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 I love, I love nature. So. Great. Well, we want to invite you to come over to the G Living Studio in Venice. Sit on the couch. We have a couch like this. Oh, and yeah, and come by and, and hang out with us. Would you do that sometime? I would. I would love to. Thank Very you. Good. Well, you could take me for a spin in your hydrogen fuel cell car. I haven't been in one of those yet. It's zero emissions and it's made from renewable sources such as solar and wind. So it'll be an experience. Awesome. Well, thank you for like setting the pace for 17 year olds all over the planet. Uh, thank you. All right, good. Come visit us at G Living. I will. All right, Karyanka, thank you so much. We'll be back with more superstar celebrities making a difference in Hollywood right after this. <laughs>